So we're going to start talking about some signs and symptoms to look out for of brain tumours, as this is the start of Brain Tumour Awareness Month that we thought was topical for everybody. Um, so I'm Vicky and this is Ellie, and uh, we were just having a chat amongst ourselves about the different symptoms that we see people coming in with um, and have talked about. And sometimes it's been a very short history, hasn't it? Sometimes it's only been days to weeks for some people. Absolutely. Really commonly, we see patients present to us with very short onset of symptoms. So sometimes just a headache for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden a big event that's led them to go to A&E. So that's really common for us to see for our patients. I think sometimes there's um, visual symptoms, isn't there, as well? Sometimes people have noticed a few things and perhaps been somewhere like the opticians because they can't, they think they need to change their glasses. Um, often I think the things that people say to us aren't obvious. I think they're, it's when you, hindsight is obviously a very powerful thing, isn't it? And then it all makes sense once you've had an MRI scan. But and actually sometimes when you, sorry, when you pick, when you've been diagnosed or when you found something on a scan, people think, oh, actually last week I did this or mm -hmm. last week his behaviour was funny or, you know, over the last few weeks I found he's been acting odd or, and things at the time you just disregard and on reflection like you say hindsight people pick up other things which absolutely. were probably the cause yeah absolutely I think often I think we've noticed before with at times like Christmas when families get together particularly for people perhaps who live by themselves things like personality changes are noticed or if um, there's been a bit of self-neglect perhaps at home and things have got a bit out of control that's when people start to notice oh there's something that's not not quite right, but perhaps a the person themselves hasn't had the insight to, to see. Yeah. And another really common thing, you think of brain tumors and you think of headaches, but often people say to us, I don't even have a headache. I feel fine. I just had this one event. I fell over and hit my head and I did a scan or I had a big seizure and I still feel fine. And sometimes people don't have symptoms and that can also be quite hard to deal with when you think something's going on, but actually I feel fine. I think that's so true, isn't it? Because when the idea of having any form of treatment or operation, particularly when you feel well, is quite, it's a big thing to overcome psychologically, isn't it? You think, I don't even feel unwell, and yet I've got the prospect of all these risks that go with finding out exactly what's wrong. So it makes it quite hard to believe, I think. If you break your arm, everyone can see you've broken your arm. And you have a sling and everyone says, oh, sorry to hear you've broken your arm. But when you've got something going on in your head, that actually your symptoms can be personality or changes in you yourself. That can be really difficult and it can be really difficult for friends and family to to try and manage that as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, perhaps what's helpful is some tips that we were just talking about, about for people who think there might be something going on. We're saying it could be good to go and um, when you see your GP, if you notice that you're going a few times consecutively with similar things going on, try and see the same person, try and ask for the same GP so they can really build a picture of you. Because often we don't know our GPs anymore, especially through COVID, it's all been very remote, but try to see the same person so they can see how things are affecting you. Absolutely. Yeah. And also sometimes just making I, when you see a healthcare professional, you can feel a bit overwhelmed and think, oh, I'm sure there was something else I was going to tell them another symptom. And actually, if you start to think to yourself, oh, this has been happening or my wife's noticed this or my brother's told me this, you can maybe jot things down. So when you come to the GP, you can say, oh, actually, it was last Tuesday. I felt this way. And I really noticed that the Tuesday before I felt the same or just jotting a few notes down, trying not to get too fixated on things because that can also make your symptoms a bit worse when you feel anxious. Um, but maybe just jotting a few notes down so when you see your healthcare professional, you can say, these are all the things that I've been feeling. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, um, the other thing is that it's really important to feel listened to. And sometimes when there's lots of different symptoms or things that feel very unfamiliar and it can feel quite frightening, it's really important to feel that somebody's listening to what you're saying and hearing what you're saying. And if whoever you've gone to see, you don't get that from, perhaps try and see someone else. That's the time to try and call the GP practice and ask to see somebody new 
because we all know with a fresh pair of eyes sometimes you see something completely differently because you've been you know looking down a different a different vision so sometimes asking to see someone else can be really helpful too and you know brain tumors are, are rare in the grand scheme of things most people that go to see a gp with funny symptoms are not going to have a brain tumor so a gp might not necessarily think straight away oh we need a scan of your head but they might so if you change to speak to a different gp it may just change their mindset change their view on the situation and they may suggest a scan or another review for a specialist yeah absolutely i hope these have all been helpful for people and we'll be back with more information for you tomorrow